So we hear the Turkey Pavilion. Hi. Hey, hoş geldiniz. Nasılsınız? Hi, so Turkish, who are you? this is welcome and you know, welcome to our pavilion. So welcome to Turkey. And uh, here is our pavilion and I would like to introduce you our pavilion a little bit. So we are we have different sectors in this pavilion from jewelry to health tourism to construction and real estate and cosmetics as we see on some automata, automotive sector food education electronics so briefly we can start through the jewelry as you may all know Istanbul it was the capital of three big empires Roman Empire Byzantine Empire and Ottoman Empire so being a city of three four thousand years old we have a very rich history so jewelry is you know one of the basic uh, handcrafts and arts uh, throughout the Turkish history and goldsmiths and jewelers are very famous uh, so, from so people traveling through Turkey would be a good idea to consider going around exactly, the markets exactly and it would be Istanbul or Izmir or where would Any they go to find the in Anatolia as well because we have very strong sources of carpentry and jewelry and handcrafts as well you know because they reflect the the power of the history and the multicultural uh, you know richness of the country so I suggest people around here to go and check uh, Istanbul's beauty okay if you go around here uh, yeah Electrics Act and uh, electronics, what's, what's yeah. to do here? Yeah, because Turkey is, you know, now producing uh, circuitry and electronic components to many parts of the world, even to uh, China and America and Europe. We're exporting, you know, circuitry and electronic. This, this brand, Vestel, problems. is Turkish. Yeah, exactly. It's very big, right? And, yeah. and, and producing millions of TVs all over Europe being sold, right? TVs, you know, TV sets, hi-fi equipment, and, you know, uh, many house devices as well. And it's just, so, uh, this business keeps growing, right? Exactly. There's I mean, bigger, there bigger really role to build stuff really, in Turkey? Exactly. Because, you know, uh, Turkey is a, you know, as you know, is a bridge between Western and Eastern lives. So we have the strongest parts of Eastern and Western uh, worlds, let's say. So we have a very a big variety of the sectors, as you see. So technologies uh, can be followed through these screens, you know. So we there's a big tech, exactly. big tech this companies. Bilisham Wadi is like a Silicon Valley in California. You know, it's uh, in this area we all produce the, the components for various electronic uh, devices, as uh, you may see over here. Is it like a hub for startups to do new exactly. innovation? Exactly. And uh, the people that do these startups and work in the startups, not only from Turkey? Of course, from uh, every part of the world. We receive, you know, many companies willing to buy our components. Uh, so, if we shall we go this way how about uh, if, we, if we jumped uh, sorry to jump around but here with the education um, it says a life-changing journey uh, exactly. are you encouraging people to get the education of course uh, we, because we are we have now 210 universities in in Turkey in general and they are very popular and demanded by the whole uh, area we can say from Russia, from Europe, from Middle East, from Far East, and we have lots of students coming to Turkey to have, uh, you know, their education from medicine to electronics to engineering, from law to uh, you name it, any part of the, and the education could be in Turkish language, but also in English, or of course it's um, in many languages because there are universities, you know, teaching in German. There are some universities teaching in French in Turkish and so th this is a you know a huge variety of things and you may choose whatever language y you may have to you know get to education for. So let's jump uh, here, uh, construction and real estate 
uh, when I was in Turkey a few months ago, I saw so much infrastructure being built everywhere. Exactly, exactly. And so what's happening? Know, the real estate sector is growing enormously, enormously. Uh, you know, people from Gulf countries, they are coming to Trabzon area. Trabzon is a uh, city in Black Sea area. And it's very, very popular because it's uh, like everywhere is forests and lakes. And the weather and climate is so, you know, mellow and very ideal for any time of the year. So people are rushing into the, the area and it's, you know, the real estate is like exploded over uh, those areas. So they are very popular and demanded. When I was in Turkey uh, and I re with a rental car, I noticed the roads were in excellent condition, a huge network of roads. Exactly. And uh, so there's been a huge investment over the last years, exactly, right? Exactly, because access from one spot to the other is always, you know, very easy and comfortable. So there is a big, you know, uh, transportation uh, in the country. So if you go, be, as we know, Turkey has four seasons. We have winter, summer, spring, and you know autumn, all of them in one place. So, for example, people from very hot countries they come to Turkey to enjoy the, the cold weather, and people from cold countries they come to Turkey to enjoy uh, hot weather. So, it's very popular. Whenever you go to Istanbul, you may enjoy it because the extreme uh, weather conditions, we don't have them. And there's uh, actually excellent low-cost uh, flight connections from all over the exactly. place. I saw uh, uh, not just Turkish Airlines, but Pegasus. Exactly. I and had amazing cheap yeah, tickets, exactly. very affordable. The prices are really very, very reasonable. And you know, for someone who is limited budget, Turkey is like a paradise, believe me, and yeah. you, you will not regrets at all we were we spent uh we f probably the best airbnbs i've stayed at was in yeah. a sesame area Kash kalkan exactly they're Kash. like they're uh, like paradise you it's know? amazing villas and people exactly. rent them out and it's affordable yeah. and if you're a group of yeah. people it's like a dream holiday exactly and you know in uh, southern areas we have some villages like french village like english village russian german and a lot of countries, they come, they, they are like small Germany, small England, small, you know. So the international, the, the blend of culture is fantastic. So I have many friends from anywhere uh, in the world. What can you say about the cosmetics? Cosmetics, uh, you know, because the, the herbal flora is in Turkey is very rich. So we have a huge variety of plants and leaves so you know uh, that's the reason the the plants and herbal uh, products we use in the cosmetics are very rich so we have a huge variety of cosmetics as well and uh, what do you f highlight oh, here the, the marble natural stones the uh, like in history all these uh, uh, huge buildings were built exactly. with stones uh, that so come from turkey exactly the, the marbles we have is the top notch is the, is the best in the world believe me because uh, many constructors, many people are coming to Turkey to get these, you know, you may have a look, you have, you can see some very nice texture, textures and the coloring is exactly like magical. And, and the quality you can feel when, when you have a lot? it. There's a lot? Exactly. And you got these very big, big mines there? Very big mines and uh, like we have a dozen of mines all throughout Turkey, so you know, marble is one of the the best products we are producing right now in Turkey. And it's been tr this has been happening for thousands of years. Like when you think about all these big uh, empires that were around exactly. in Turkey and They're outside Turkey, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Roman Empire, I guess exactly. they were uh, having see, business. They're going on exactly the ruins of Ephesus, for example. And there are many historical places where they they used those rich mar mar marbles and these stones. You know, right. Uh, maybe let's go a little bit this way. What are you showing in that direction? And now... Oh. Here is a small, you know... See the Turkish Airlines? The, yeah, and Tur as you know, Turkish Airlines is very big and popular And company. it's actually an amazing connection for anywhere in Europe to get to Asia through True. Istanbul. Exactly. A stopover. 
The network, you know, the flight uh, network is really very, very strong. And here we have a drone system uh, man manufactured 100% in Turkey. So this aviation thing is also one of the strongest uh, fields uh, of the country. What do you see behind you there? Yeah, you may see lots of natural stuff from Istanbul and Antalya. This is Beyoğlu, the main street in Istanbul. You know, it's a very, it's like the old town of Turkey. And he, this is the biggest mosque in Istanbul, Hagia Sophia. And uh, actually, I was, um, I was a little bit impressed with uh, the humanitarian uh, aspect of uh, Turkey helping these countries around the having problems. And of a lot course. of people coming to Turkey. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's the, one of the leading characters of uh, Turkish people. You know, we are the hospitality. If you are in trouble, for example, as a tourist, if you go to Turkey, and if you are in need of something, people are uh, you know, running to you and trying their best to, to help you. Even if you, for example, lose your wallet and get penniless, you don't have any troubles. You, you can survive easily because everybody will help you. Um, there's actually millions of migrants living in Turkey, right? Yeah, exactly. Millions. Yeah, and they, we are very welcoming to them. Like from uh, Syria and many different countries around? E exactly. So what shall we do? You know, how can you... Because in our religion uh, and, you know, in our uh, tradition, there is a saying like, if, if my neighbor is hungry, how can I be, you know, happy? Yeah. So if we have a something, you know, a small piece of bread, we share it. Yeah. I eat everything and I leave nothing to you. It's, it's not the... You it know, needs to be a peace in the whole region country. now, like just peace all the way south down there and yeah, all these it's countries. It's very safe and secure, you know. But uh, in Turkey, yeah, but in uh, countries around that needs to, something needs to happen, right? In, exactly. In Syria exactly. and all these countries. Yeah, yeah. That, of course, we, yeah. we are willing that, you know, a, a peace will be upon everywhere, you know. Uh, I yeah. mean, but as we know, there, there things, bad things happening in the world, like wars. How about joining stuff. the EU? When is happening? When yeah. are you joining the EU? I'm joking, but <laughs> isn't that uh, in discussion? Uh, don't you, uh, I mean, don't the Turkish people want that? Oh, that's, it's, you know... It's hard and political. Yeah, that's political and I personally, okay. I'm not a Yeah, yeah, I'm just guy. something I'm thinking. What, is this uh, tea? Yeah, this is Turkish tea. I can serve you if you want. And this, excuse me. So what can you say this about is, the Turkish tea? This is black tea. Actually, you know, we're producing them in uh, northern uh, Black Sea area, in Trabzon and in Rize area. It's, you know, you put a little bit of this and then you add some hot water on top of it, as seen here, you know, like one third of the, the tea and the rest will be hot water. You may oh. enjoy. And it's very good okay. for health. Even the oncologists, nice. they, they suggest this tea, you know, against like a anti-cancer shield and it improves the uh, the immune system Ooh. and it's it's like a medication for cancer nice. uh, patients yeah i'll just leave, leave it here for a second okay uh, let's let's yeah. just continue just a little bit yeah, more because yeah, exactly. you have lots of stuff uh, exactly. around the booth what the is, is what's happening and, here yeah and as the country is very big you know the story is also very big because you know we have millions of things to tell in any structure of the history. As you can see, this is the hand of uh, Fatima. It's like an evil eye and protecting it's, uh, it's uh, you know, in your house, if you put this, it protects your house from bad energy and, you know, evil eyes, they say. It's a superstitious belief. And carpentry, carpentry is also, you know, it's the one of the main uh, income of the country because they are very rich and they they are made of silk and it reflects uh, the you know the history it's like a map you know it's rather than when you because observe the the symbols on the carpet you can see what's going on like the warriors here you know these are the the animals they are you know uh, keeping at those times and uh, it's not only a visual symbol, but you can read the whole history by 
checking the car the symbols on the carpets. Uh, there was uh, something over here. Uh, well, you talk about the health, health tourism as well. Uh, what can you say about the health in yeah, Turkey? Yeah, because we, you know, the Turkish hammams and Turkish baths are very uh, famous in the world because we have natural water sources, the uh, hot water sources, and we call them. Uh, it's something like a sauna, and people are coming there to heal their problems with skins, with bones, with uh, as you see, and uh, the hospital, the quality of the hospitals and the crew are very uh, well educated and very high profile people this, but the service is like the health or one third of the whole world so there is a very huge demand outside the country you know we, we are receiving a lot of patients from abroad and they are coming for you know for hair uh, plantation for uh, aesthetic operations for surgery Dentist. for uh, dentistry because if you compare the prices side by side, the quality is at least the same and even more than you know, most of the countries. But the, the price is like one, the half or one third of the, the other countries. So there is a huge demand. I, I know a lot of people coming to Turkey only for their teeth, believe me. And they are having trouble when they talk. And uh, uh, like if somebody has arthritis or cancer or something like that, exactly. uh, they could come to like kind of like a resort place and it's get the a, whole exactly treatment because, package. Yeah, you know, when you're fighting against cancer, the, the main uh, weapons are oxygen, you know, clean air, forests, yeah. nature, lakes and stuff. And we have plenty in Turkey. And the, uh, as I told you before, the plantation, uh, you know, the natural med medication, it's very famous because they do some, you know, recites uh, for the, for many uh, diseases in Turkey. So for someone who is suffering from, let's say, cancer, it's uh, the natural remedy, and we have high quality oncologists supporting uh, both uh, with Western techniques and Eastern techniques. Also important to get the right food. Uh, exactly, exactly. Package. You should stay away from sugar, you, sh you should consume natural products. And you know, Turkey is the, is the paradise of natural products and food. Right. Uh, what are we looking at here? And this is, as I told you, you know, b when we start to shoot this video, I told you about the jewelry and handcrafts. These are all handcrafted. There is no machinery in these ones. Whatever you see, they, are, they have been manufactured in the hands. As you can see, this is solid gold. How do you wear this? It's like a necklace. You oh, put it necklace. On, on the, around the neck. Yeah. All right. And these are earrings. Although That's they are big really ones. huge. You need to have solid These ears. Big rims. And, and what's we the have, stick for? This is like a brooch. You know, right. and it's amazing. You see the diamonds yeah. and uh, very valuable gems on it. So up here, there's stuff uh, that you're showing about the logistics. Um, and as you see on the screen, because we didn't uh, talk about the automotive sector yeah. and, the sh and the naval sector. In the naval sector, we're producing ships, especially to northern countries like Norway, Sweden. We, we are, you know, producing um, fishing vessels like the ones over there and yachts. And this, uh, this in industry is really very, very big. And big? Yeah, it's a very big industry. As you see... Giant have, machines. Yeah, exactly. We are producing ships, fishing ships, you know, yachts, and you name it. There are some examples right here, uh, yeah, small you, models. You can see, yeah, yeah, on these small models, you, you can see the, the, the variety of... And we are producing in real. So, uh, you have the same models in, of course, in bigger scale. Fishing? Yeah, this is fishing. What is a submarine? Oh, I really don't know. Let's check. It's a submarine. tourism submarine. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It's the cool. first time I see such a thing. All right. And uh, there was stuff about new mobility. Uh, so you yeah, have yeah, lots of car manufacturing happening, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and this car is, the brand is Tog, T-O-G-G. It's been manufacturing, you know, like uh, for the last two, three years, and it will be released 
by the end of this year. And this is an all electric car, all manufactured in Turkey. Electric? Yeah, electric car. And it can, you know, it's very economic, but it's very fast as well. It, from zero to 100, it can reach in only four seconds, like a sports car, you know? It's a big, big SUV. It's a size, size. And you can, on the LCD, you can see the, the, they're manufacturing the, the engine, the body, and everything. It's 100% Turkish. Uh, Turkey has uh, experience of manufacturing for many uh, European car brands, right? Like Fiat, Renault, yeah. exactly, Opel, for, for many Volkswagen, years. Honda as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. For yeah. many years, but we start to manufacture, you know, Your own brands. Our, our own brands. And this is yeah. the first, and uh, th there will be some others coming up on the way. And uh, we, we glossed over, but it's down there, uh, the, the whole solar and clean energy. Uh, how fast is that developing in Turkey? Because uh, um, everybody wants to have the clean energy, right? And how yeah, much is exactly. Turkey doing in that sector? It's the solar energy systems, solar energy panels we are, you know, and the wind mills for producing energy. And energy is a very big and popular sector as well in Turkey. Because as you know, uh, as I mentioned many times, we have four seasons and the winds and the waves and we, we're trying to use all the natural sources to be, uh, to be able to produce more effective energy systems. All right. All right. So thanks a lot. Thanks for this uh, tour. Uh, you're very welcome and you're always welcome to visit the country, uh, starting from Istanbul maybe. And uh, you know, I can guarantee you that you enjoy your time really, really much. Thank you.